Hello friend. Welcome to this brief talk to describe the national mission on education through ICT known as NME ICT. The objective of this talk is as follows to explain NME ICT so that you can write a proposal. We would love to receive your proposal. I will explain the objectives of NME ICT, supported activities, what activities are not supported, where to send the proposal, evaluation procedure and deadlines. NME ICT is launched by MHRD, Government of India. The objective is to raise the levels of education in India. The outlay is Rs. 4,600 crore to be spent over three years ending on 31st March 2012. 40% of it is reserved for content generation. The remaining 60% is for bandwidth related expenses to give 1 Gbps bandwidth to every one of 416 universities and 20,000 colleges. It is a very large and ambitious plan from the government. It is likely to continue in the next plan period as well. 60% of the expenses are for bandwidth. BSNL has been given the order to establish bandwidth. Other 40% is for content generation. The details are in the next slides. I will not go through each of these points. There are a total of 18 line items, 9 here, another 6 here, the remaining 3 are here. The necessary conditions for a project to be funded by this mission are, it should be related to education, for research other funding sources are available, it should be inter-institutional, -institu any material developed through this mission has to be delivered as open source. It should belong to one of the 18 light line items mentioned earlier. The procedure to get funding is as follows. To submit a project and also a pilot for six months, the project is reviewed. Inputs are received from standing committee members and other experts. Pilot project is recommended or one is asked to rewrite the proposal. No proposal is rejected. After a successful completion of the pilot project, the main project is approved. What is funded? Funding is based on deliverables, number of courses created, number of teachers trained, number of students trained, etc. Cost per item is important, cost per course, cost to train a student, etc. Preference is given to collaborative projects. The developed material should have national appeal. It should not be restricted to one university, one state, etc. In the terminology of NME ICT, a course consists of 40 hours of instruction. It should be useful for many universities, not to just one. It should conform to the four quadrant approach. It should be released as open source. Typical funding for this is rupees 7 lakh per course. A course in NME ICT's nomenclature equivalent to a subject or a paper in the university. What is not funded? School level projects are not funded. Infrastructure development is not directly funded. For example, you cannot ask for constructing buildings, buying furniture, etc. directly. Funding is based on the deliverables. Some of these funds can be used to buy equipment, consumables and to recruit people. The administration of the mission is as follows. There is a project approval board chaired by the secretary of MHRD. There is a standing committee chaired by the mission director. It recommends projects on the basis of the merit. There are of course review committees. The mission director is Mr. N.K. Sinha, who is the Joint Secretary Distance Learning Training. We must be one of a few countries to have such a high level position for distance education. The website for this mission is sakshat.ac.in. It has a lot of useful information about this mission. So let me go there. I have opened it here. So let's click this sakshat.ac.in. So it takes me to this website. It has a mission document. Okay. One can go through this. It's a large document, more than 100 pages long. 
It has lots of other things, minutes of project approval board, pilot sanctioned, minutes of project coordinators, minutes of standing committee, website of sanctioned projects. This is an interesting link. What are the projects that are running under this mission and their links? Let me come back to this talk. As I mentioned earlier, it has the mission document. It has the minutes of various committees. It has links to websites of projects funded by this mission and lots of other things as well. We would like you to explore this website at your leisure. Where to submit the proposal? So let's uh, go back to this website. Go back to the previous page. Okay, in the top left hand corner, you have this link National Mission on Education through ICT. If you click this, you can see a letter written by Mr. N.K. Sinha about this mission. On the top right hand corner, you have links for uploading proposal, uploading pilot proposal and uploading final status and so on. So let me come back to this talk. Are there deadlines for submission of a proposal? There are no deadlines. Funding is available throughout the year. No paper copy of the proposal is needed initially. The desired format of the proposal is explained in the next slide. I will not go through each of these. You can read them. I just want to mention these three points. Cost benefit analysis is extremely important. Social impact and then outcome. To what extent does the project fulfill the objectives of the mission? Not all the information in the format suggested earlier may be required at the very beginning, but at the end of the pilot project, all of the points should become clear. The work on pilot phase should keep this format in mind, however. Presentation to and recommendation by the standing committee is a prerequisite for funding. The standing committee normally meets on the first and third Saturday of every month from 11 a.m. The address of the meeting place is given here. The landmark is ITO. This is the place where we meet at this point. It is likely to change in the future. When it is changed, you will get the information through email or at the website Sakshat. Travel support for up to two people per project is given. At the time of presentation, two paper copies of the project proposal and 15 copies of a two-page summary should be distributed. Every project should maintain a website. As we saw earlier, you should show the progress through this website. All expenses above rupees 1 lakh should be shown in this page. All these websites shall be linked from the website of Sakshat of the mission NMEICT. After a successful completion of the pilot project, the work will be reviewed. If the pilot phase work is satisfactory, main proposal can be made. The format of the proposal given earlier should strictly be followed now. To conclude, funding for education related activities at college level is available through this mission. Funding is for deliverables, not for infrastructure. All outcomes should be released as open source. Project outcome should have national appeal. Project proposal should be uploaded at this website. There are no deadlines for project submission. No project is rejected. We help you improve it. On recommendation by the standing committee, pilot will be given if approved by the project's approval board. If pilot performance is good, main project can start. The objective of this mission is to improve the education in all colleges and universities. We invite you to write a proposal irrespective of your affiliation. This talk is brought to you by the Spoken Tutorials project, spokentutorial.org. The Spoken Tutorials are a part of the Talk to a Teacher project funded by NMEICT. The logo here is that of Talk to a Teacher. Please explore this site spokentutorial.org. It will give an idea of the projects funded by NME ICT. If you have any question on this presentation, please send an email to pm.nmeict.pi at gmail.com 
or 3T at IITBAC.in. This 3T stands for Talk to a Teacher. This is Kannan Modgalya signing off. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.